Components of tourism Tourism is when people temporarily and voluntarily change their location therefore the tourists step out of their comfort zone and experience the social and national environment of the destination country. There are several ways to group tourism. Motivation behind tourism is influenced by endogenous and exogenous factors. We travel because of physiological and psychological motivation, just as well as of social and cultural purposes or just to extend our knowledge. The magic of a landscape can be increased by the right marketing tools. The attractiveness of attractions is continuously growing by ever-expanding discounts and sales as well. There is always a reason to travel. Social motives include visiting friends, pursuing social life building and maintaining social relationships. Many people want to simply escape from civilized life back to nature. Cultural motives include the intent of getting to know our own country better, discovering other countries and cultures, interest in art or religious reasons. Prestige motivation can be the desire for personal evolution, either by learning or further education. Types of tourism can be grouped by its purpose. Business tourism includes business travel, congresses, exhibitions, fairs, educational tours, diplomatic tours, trips for athletes, guest performances for artists and incentive tours. Vacation tourism is a useful way of spending leisure time. There is simply vacation or culture-seeking tourism. Specialized resorts are created for health spa and wellness tourism. Those wishing to live a rural life prefer rural and agricultural tourism. Sports tourism includes cycling, hiking or even equestrian sports which are becoming more and more popular nowadays. People living for their hobbies are choosing the destination correspondingly. The followers of adventure tourism choose to visit extreme places. Motorcyclists often start off on the open road without specific destinations. For religious reasons, many travel for a shorter period of time. Weekend tourism is aimed at closer destinations. People who like shopping or excursions are traveling for one day only. Grouping of tourists The holiday tourist wants to relax, or maybe looks for an experience. There are people who like to do some kind of sport or those who like special experiences. Adventure is also sought after by many, some people want to learn or just want to see something new, whether it is a natural wonder or a cultural destination. There are also collectors among tourists, who would travel specifically for this purpose even to the end of the world to gain an object or an atmosphere. Due to the spread of different scholarships in the world, many travel to satisfy their desire for knowledge. Grouping by the number of tourists. Traveling individually is when one person travels. Collective tourism is when more people travel together in groups. Club tourism participants are going on a holiday to club resort villages. In mass tourism, individual and group tourists are concentrated in a single place. According to the grouping of tourists by their age, youngster tourism means the trips of 15 to 24 year olds who are no longer traveling with their parents nor with their own family yet. Middle aged people usually travel with their family, and or with their friends and the family of their friends. The subjects of senior tourism are the ones aged 60 65, retired, who are no longer active earners. They often take part in a group trip. Based on the duration of stay it can be a short stay, 1-2-3 days long, may it be transit, weekend or business tourism. Long-term tourism can take up to 4-5 days to several weeks, 